Hello. I posted a while ago. I was going to be live at 8 o'clock, so I'm not sure if it's 8. It might be a little bit after 8, so I might be a little bit late. My name is Cindy. I am with Paparazzi. I'm here today to show you my jewelry. Um, the name of my business is Bling Ambition Jewels. If you guys haven't joined my um, VIP club, uh, not club, the VIP group, um, I'll post the link when I'm done. I didn't put any um, description in it, but I post a link so you guys can join my group. You get a chance to see my new releases first. And normally um, I post, hey Jay, normally I go live in my group, but I'm doing it for my personal page just so I can push some of you guys into the group so I can stop annoying everybody else. <laughs> um, okay, so everything that I'm going to show you today is $5 each. If you want to purchase any of the things that I'm showing you, I'm going to show you the number and the item. You can post in the comments the number and sold and it's yours at the end of this. I'll send everybody an invoice. Or if you want to use Cash App, you can cash at me at SYN418. So SYN418. Hey, Juliana. How are you? Let me see. So for is watching, hey, Nuck. <laughs> Who else? And Jay. I already said hi to Jay. Okay, so first item. So we're going to do colors. I'm going to start with wood um, beaded necklaces. Well, the wood necklaces. And then I'll get into some rings and stuff. I'm going to keep the comments up even though I can't necessarily see myself, but it looks like I can see you guys talking. Okay, so first item is number 71, and it's wood. I don't want to call them beads. I want to call them buttons, maybe. And this one, really simple. It's like a buttonhole clasp. And little dangly wooden pink earrings. And it's on a, like a, I want to say thread, but it's, it's thicker than threads. So you see it's like a, it's not an actual chain. It's fairly light. Pretty for summer. Don't let me lose my numbers tonight. Number 71. If you like to purchase number 71, comment number 71 and sold and it's yours. Hey Monica, I'm starting to get shiny. Lord. Okay. All right, next. It's number 79. And this one is wood beads. So they're like ballies. Bigger ones all the way to the top, the smaller. And this is like a same type of um, class button, but the actual button is bigger, so this one's not going anywhere. And let me see. They're about the same length. And little bally earrings. And these are a little bit bigger than what our normal little um earring dot bally dangly things are this one actually has some silver accents that are actual they're metal so most of the beads are wood except for the metal pieces here and that one was number 79 and if you like to purchase that one comment 79 and sold and it's yours trying to get better with getting these numbers together. oh yeah hold up I don't own the rights to any of this music. Oh, hey, Jay, here my case is right. Okay, so let me get this part done. I don't own any rights to the music. So Facebook, don't try to shut me down. And yeah, so I made this case. Um, I think I posted it. Probably been about a week now. I really like the um, 2 by 4 case. It's a little cumbersome transporting it, but I had to fix the wheels. I think I put them in a little bit too close together, but... I like this a lot better than the tabletops because I could put more stuff in it. That makes sense, but I like it. So I'm going to probably make another um, couple of them for events. It's easy if it's to roll them in and pop it open. I don't got to worry about setting up and all of that. Okay, so next we have our Everglades. And this one is in purple. It's wooden. Almost like the other one. 
So about the same length, but there's no metal tops on this one. Same size um, little ball earrings. I'm trying to um, show you guys the class. Hold on. So this one is number 19. Now this class was a little bit different. So there's strings here. And you can make it longer. Of course you don't want to cooperate. So, okay. This one you can actually make longer with the strings that are attached. So this is the actual clasp thing here. So it goes on over your head pretty much. You don't have to close it. And you can make it longer or a little bit shorter. And I'm sitting these pieces here just hang down your back. You want to add four, huh? Okay. All right. This one was number 19. If you want to purchase number 19, hit 19 sold in the comments and it's yours. Now this one is like double. It's actually two strands, brown and yellow. Both of these are wood, like the others. Same size little bally earrings, and they do have like some silver accents. And this is about the same length. And the class is a button. But it's a button like the first two that I showed. Did I save it? No, I didn't. All right, and this one is number 44. Hey, Monique. All right. Hey, Patrice. It gives me the option to bring everybody on the camera, which I think is a little bit strange. That'd be funny, though. All right, so number 44. If you like the purchase number 44, hit sold number 44 in the comments. Oh, that was. Mm, 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 okay. All right, that's the one. All right. Sold number 44 in the comments if you want that one. All right, the one that I'm going to show you next comes in several colors, and I have it in blue and in orange. This one's gonna be number 56. And this is wood on a button closure. Yeah, it doesn't have the uh, strings it's on a button closure. And this one's a little bit shorter. And it's got the same size little button earrings, little baldy earrings. This one is called um, Caribbean Cover Girl. For some reason I like the name, I don't know why. All right, so this one is blue with teal. And this will be number 56. If you like to purchase this one, put number 56 in the comments, sold number 56. All right, and I'm gonna show you the same one in orange. And all these beads here are wood beads. There's some flat pieces in between. It's kind of doubled up. I know, right? I love this color too. And I don't even do like bright colors. Most times you only see me wearing black. Say for years I probably only wore black and gray. But I might, I might try some color just because I'm coming into contact with so many different colors of jewelry now. Okay, so. This one's gonna be number 55. If you like this one in orange, comment number 55 sold, and it's yours. And it's the last wood piece. No, I have one more, this, two more actually. No, can I reach it? We'll save the other for next time. All right, so this one, oh, okay, this one changes too. Hold on. Okay, so this one is longer. 
and all the pieces are wood there's some flat pieces and oblong pieces in between are like the little ballies the teal ballies and it has the same little barley earrings with the silver accents and this one is adjustable so it actually gets longer which is kind of crazy but let's see that's pretty long So this is the adjuster. I pull it out to make it longer. And then you grip it and pull it out to make it a little shorter. Alright, and this one. number 72 so if you like to purchase that one you can in the comments post 72 sold and that one's yours all right so okay so i did grab some earrings out that match some of the wood pieces so i'm going to show you the earrings with the pieces just so you can see what i mean see how they go all right, so first is some silver. Hey, Alfie. Silver earrings with a little bit of etching and texture, but there's a yellow stone inside. Those dangle fairly long. Right? So the yellow accent is the reason why I paired up with number 44. So the earrings are number 21 and they're on the fish hook, number 20 or 21. So if you'd like to purchase earrings number 21, you can post number 21 sold in the comments and they're yours. And the next are the orange tassel earrings. Now, I'm not a tassel chick. I'm not into the tassels too much. But in paparazzi tassels are huge. People chase tassel earrings and tassel necklaces. So, I'm assuming that it's on trend. Because paparazzi is on trend. Cindy is not. <laughs> All right, so those are silver with a orange accent, which is the reason why I think they go well with the number 55. Right? Even though they all come with their own matching earrings, um, usually they're shorter, smaller earrings. And I, most people like bigger earrings. I know I do. So... Number 61, is that right? Yeah. If you like to purchase these earrings, whether you choose to wear them with the necklace or not, it's number 61. And if you like those, you can comment sold. 61. All right, so we're gonna get into some earrings, period. Put this thing so close, I can even turn around. Hey Alicia! Right, I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. Okay.
I hate to be that camera adjuster girl, but I had to do that. Okay, so next, these are actually clip-on. Now they're set in gold. I don't think it's rose gold. No, it's regular gold. They're set in gold tone. And then there's gold tone rhinestones in the earring. I'm gonna take out the card. And I think these are really pretty, even though my ears are pierced. For the most part, when I see clip-on earrings, I never see anything really cute. Like, like they don't expect people to want to look cute even though their ears aren't pierced. So, this one is in gold tone. And this, the rhinestones themselves are not clear. They're actually gold, too. Oh, better drop me one. I'm going to start that number dropping mess. All right, and that's number 64. It's gold, and I guess that would be like a, I want to say a pod day setting, but I might be wrong. All right, number 64. If you like those, you can comment, sold number 64. Now these are on a fish hook, sea beads. And these are one and done. And these are pretty long too. These are big, I like these. All right, it's number 28. If you'd like to buy those CB earrings, they're like a, let me see, that's not actually black. So it's like a navy blue, gold, and turquoise. And the earring itself is on a brass hook. That's number 28. And if you'd like to purchase number 28, the hint um, in the comments, number 28 sold. Right. And again, everything that I'm showing you is $5. Because I haven't shown you guys any um, Z pieces yet. But we will get into Z pieces. Okay, so I have these in silver and in gold. These are called Slayers Gonna, Slayers Gonna Slay. It just sounds crazy to me. But I was happy to see these in silver because I really like them in gold. They remind me of, like the old school dookie earrings like the big chunky, chunky earrings all right so these are in silver hammered metal or warped metal but they remind me of, like the bamboo earrings from back in the day and these are i'm gonna say about two inches in diameter all right so these are number 53 in silver and if you'd like to purchase those, they're five dollars. Just in the comments, post sold number fifty-five. No, I'm sorry, fifty-three. Did I say fifty-three? Yes, fifty-three. And then in gold, same thing. Slayer's going to slay. Warped metal, gold tone. And those are number 68. So if you'd like to purchase those, in the comments post number 68 sold. Okay. And next I have some, I actually have these in silver too. So number 66, 
are these big gold hoops. They're about two and a half inches in diameter on a post. Okay. And these are a little bit lighter than the Slayers from Slay earrings. Those got a little bit more weight to them. I'm actually, these are actually the ones that I'm wearing. Yeah. They're fairly light. Number 66. If you like to purchase those gold hoops in the comments, number 66 sold. So next we're gonna get into some rings and then we'll do bracelets. Okay, first, I've had a few people ask me about it, but um, Butterfly rings, actually. And I don't ever see any in the back office. This is the first time I saw one that I really I didn't see one that was like brass. I ain't so much like that one. But this one I really like. So this one is silver on a silver band. And they call it orange, but it looks like a brown to me. This one is number 12. And it's called Flutter Flare. And it's on a standard band that stretches a lot. And this one feels really good. Now, I put it on my ring finger, which is kind of small. And even on my middle finger, it feels pretty good. But I guess on the camera, that does look kind of um, orange. I like how it sits up like a, like a real butterfly on your knuckles, but it's funny. All right, so that one is number 12. You like that? Hey, Michelle. <laughs> All right, so if you like that one, in the comments, hit sold number 12. And I got to be mindful to put these numbers back the way they're supposed to be because I got all kinds of loss last time on my numbers. All over the place. All right. Number 46. Patrice, I have more than one if you want that. If you want another one of those um, butterfly rings. Okay, so now this one is number 46. And it's called Friends in High End Places. Now, I always get like mixed up with these things because hard time figuring out which way they want you to wear it. You know, I got to play the focus game. So I'll be staring at the camera looking crazy trying to get it so you guys can actually see the detail. Okay. All right, so these are clear rhinestones in a silver setting with a smaller band, which like I said, always feels really good to me because my hands are pretty small. So, but up close, there's three um, large pear-shaped or tear-shaped rhinestones, and then there's like a little ribbon band across the top. It's almost like a, I wish you guys could see it. Uh, oh, there. Okay. Okay. I like this one too, right? Okay, so this one was number 46. And if you'd like to purchase number 46 in the comments, at 46 sold. There's gotta be a better way. Okay, let's see. Maybe that's what the butterfly is. Okay. Number 54. Is rose gold. Okay, so this is clear rhinestone set in rose gold. 
Oh, good. Oh, focus. There we go. And this is on a smaller band. And it will fit a bigger finger. All of our rings will fit a bigger finger, honestly. My hands are small. Um, I do understand that some people have bigger, even though I'm plus size. I have small hands. Thank you. <laughs> so, you, know, you can look at my hands and say, oh, you have to fit your hands. But most people, if you have big knuckles, most people's knuckles ain't that big. Okay. So, and you can fit this ring. And that's on my middle finger, back on my ring finger. It's still snug, but not tight. So that one was number 54. And if you like to buy number 54, you can comment number 54 sold. And it's yours. Right, next. It's number 25. I was got to put it up to make sure it looks right. Because to me, of course, it don't look right because it's backwards. But whatever. And this one is called Mermaid Mamba. And it's about five pearls lined up. And this one is in brown. It's on a silver band. There's some metal accents in between that kind of emulate a little bit of bling. I'm trying to get it close enough for you to see it, but. I want the daggone focus to pop off. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. All right. Just so you can see the detail on it. Sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. Okay. All right. And that one was number 25. And that one was in brown. No, I had it in another color too. No, I did with it. Okay. Okay. Right, so this one is Mermaid Mamba again. This was number 38. And this one is what they're calling orange, but it kind of looks pink to me. It looks pink on camera too. It looks pink in real life. Whoever said this is orange is colorblind. Okay. It's fairly pretty. And I feel like even though, oh, did I go out of focus? Hold on. Okay. Even though I'm not sure if people stack rings for real. <laughs> we like to stack everything in paparazzi, so I'm not sure. But if we were stacking rings, I would say stack this one with something. Because the Mamba, everything is hot in paparazzi, but I like this in orange better than in brown. Oh, good. It focused a little bit so you can see the metal in between. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. So this one was number 38. So if you like that one in orange, comment 38 and sold. Next is number 41. Yeah, Michelle, that one was one of the thinner bands. So maybe it is a stackable. All right, so this one is set silver. There's some rhinestones around the outside and a big pink rhinestone in the middle. It's on a larger band. And this one was number 41. So if you like to purchase that one, 
In the comments, 41 and sold. So this one's number 47. And this one is set in silver on a standard band with some green stones. They remind me of, it, it, there's like a light stripe in it. I'm not sure if that's the actual light or the color of the stone. Reminds me a little bit of, I want to say tiger's eye, but it's green instead of brown. So there's two green stones set inside of two um, silver flower settings. And I like this one because it's larger. It pretty much covers from, from the knuckle to, well, the joint here. Like it's a whole digit, so from one joint to the next. All right, and that one is number 47. If you like that one in the comments, put number 47 sold, and that one is yours. So, what's next? All right, number 22 is a set of rose gold bangle bracelets. Oh, that's about crazy. Hold on. It's a set of four rose gold bangles. So there's two of each. One with like some little knots on it and the other it's got like some etching on the sides so let me try to put this on you know what I hate about the fact that there's more than one in the stack didn't make it too hard okay okay and that one is number 22 rose gold set of four Rose gold bangle bracelets, number 22. All right. Now the next bracelet is This is a, it's a cuff. So it's a silver cuff, and on the front there's some black rhinestones. And this one is number 36. If you like to purchase this one in the comments, put number 36 and sold. Okay. This one is still, I, I was trying to not have y'all hear me rattling paper this time, but I failed to take this one out, so. So this one is number 37 and it's like a, it's a silver cuff, it's doubled up. Hey Reggie. All right, so this one's a cuff and this looks tiny. Oh, but it fits pretty good, so it works. All 
and this one is number 37. So if you like this one, in the comments, put number 37 sold, and this was yours. So, I'm going to show you guys the necklaces that I have on the busts. Okay. This one is gunmetal. And this warped metal and these tiny little ringlets. And then the earrings on this one. Match the chain. Match the smaller lengths. They're like little figure eights. And this one, number th 63. Ooh, dyslexia, okay. <laughs> it's number 63. If you like to purchase this one, this one I have cinched a little bit, so it's a little bit longer. But it was easy for me to put it on this thing, shortened some. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. All right, number 63. Now this one is kind of chunky, and this edits, I'm not going to say full length because all of our necklaces have a little bit of give here for you to adjust the length. So you have a good two, maybe three inches to adjust the length on this one. And the earrings on this one are a nice size too. So they're like huge round rhinestones. And this one is number nine. So if you like to purchase this one in the comments, put number nine sold. Okay. This one is number three. Now this one is kind of, I'm not going to say heavy, but it has a good weight to it. So there's, I want to say like filigree hearts and silver, like silver opalescent pearls on this one. Now I believe this one comes with purple pearls too, I think I might have. All right. And the earrings that come with this one are just small little pearl um, danglies on a fish hook. All right. And this one has a little bit of length to have the adjuster here so you can make it a little bit longer or at the length that it's um, presented I'm gonna say it's like, not choker length, but a little bit, just a little longer than choker length. All right, and that one was number three. If you like to purchase number three, in the comments, put number three in sold.
Number seven is on a gold chain. Let me get it straight. There we go. It's on a gold tone chain, and there's pearls, clear gems. Those actually feel like they feel like glass. So there's gold pops, pearl pops, clear gems. And in between, there's a little bit of bling. And the earrings themselves are bigger uh, pearl danglies on a gold tone fish hook. And again, everything that I'm showing you tonight is $5 each. This one is number seven. If you like to purchase number seven in the comments, hit number seven sold. Number seven actually has a matching bracelet. I'll hold it next to it so you know. Here's the bracelet that matches number seven. <laughs> it is. So, the same. You got pearly pops, gold, some clear, and then you have the little blingy pieces in between. And the bracelet is number 62. So if you like the bracelet that matches number seven, you can put in the comments, sold number 62. If you like them both, you can just say sold um, gold pearl set and I'll know what you mean. And both pieces together is $10. Next, number 77 is a gold tone chain. All the links are doubled up so it looks stacked and full. The earrings are little dangly circles. The chain is doubled to once again support that um, stacked look. And then you have the extra, the extra um, extender here to make it a little bit longer. In the length that it presents, you can see on this, this is like a six inch bust. So, it would lay probably just like this one does. Probably stop about here. This, yeah, this piece will probably go about here. And this one, number 77. And I have some earrings that match this one pretty good. So if you'd like to purchase that one, it's number 77. You can hit that in the comments, and it's yours. Number 20 are the backwards. <laughs> are the earrings that I said would go with number um oh, what number, did I say was? number 77. Okay, so these are gold tone on a fish hook. And there's some bling there in the top and the bottom ringlet. And they're pretty long. Those were number 20. If you like to purchase those, the 77 comes oh, silver. Not that I've seen, but I'll I'll stay on the lookout just in case. But I have not seen this in the silver. I'll show you Silver Spell, which you've probably seen already, but I'll show it to you. Silver Spell is something like this, but it's not linked together. But the shape is almost there. So these were number 20, and they match number 77 if you want to purchase those. 
You can put number 20 and sold in the comments. And it's yours. See how I'm short, so I gotta pull some short tricks. So this one is Silver Spell. I know you've seen this one before. This is the Blockbuster. All right, so I'll try to hold it on this bus so you can see it. Okay, Patrice. Now this is Silver Spell, which is kind of like number 77, but it's a little bit more elaborate and it's bigger. And then the earrings that go with um, Silver Spell a little bit longer and dangly. All right, so we'll say this one is number, number 33, Silver Spell. It sits right up. I'm not gonna throw that out there. I'll, I'll hit you in your inbox. But okay. <laughs> okay. And then the next one. What did I have? Okay. This was 77. That was 33. This one is one of our mixed metal, excuse me, one of our mixed metal pieces. I'm going to say there is copper, silver, and gold tone. And this one I believe is called Untamed. And it's on a cord type chain. It has an extender too, so you can make it a little bit longer. And then the earrings are fairly long too. And they've got some engraving in there. Okay. And that one is number 80. Can I get that one there right? Right, okay. This is number 80. If you'd like to purchase number 80 in the comments, just comment 80 and sold. That I'm gonna show you. Now, this one is a little bit smaller and it's lightweight, which isn't a bad thing. Okay. Okay, so this one is a heart shaped filigree. It looks like a locket, but it's not. On a silver chain. And then on one side, there's a double strand that's got silver and some black pearl type beads. And then the earrings are small black pearls too. So it's really lightweight too. I think the little, the double chain on the side is kind of cool. 
This was number five. So if you like to purchase the silver chain with the doubled up black pearl chain on the side, in the comments, put sold number five and it's yours. Paper clips flying everywhere. This is number 69, gold tone chain, fairly light. There's several shapes in the length that make it look doubled up and there's like some etching and some of the links. It has a really nice texture. And then the earrings that go with it are a little bit heavier too. And this one is number 69. If you like to purchase number 69, in the comments put number 69 sold. Oh, backwards. Okay. Alrighty, so that is all that I have for you guys tonight. Um, in my next live, I'll be showing you my Z pieces. So now. All the pieces that I showed you tonight are $5. Um, $5 each. I send you guys an invoice through Square or PayPal. Whichever one is more comfortable for you. Or Cash App. If Cash App is comfortable for you, you can Cash App me. But I'll send you information first. Um, my Z pieces are $25 each. Z pieces are limited edition. Um, they are our top shelf pieces they're named after some of our most successful consultants who had the opportunity to walk the runway at convention and the chains are named after them and when they make the chains the amounts well not the chains but the pieces when they make the pieces after they're sold they're sold they're gone 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 so they're limited edition and they're usually heavier pieces so they're 25 instead of five um so i'll be showing you the you guys those next time in my next live. Um, the chain, well, the necklace that I'm wearing today is Catwalk Queen in brass. And this one does come with matching earrings. And this one is $5 too. Unless otherwise noted. So unless I say it's a Z piece, which I don't like to try to mix them. So when I do my next live, I'll probably show you guys my Z pieces and then get into regular pieces. That way there's no confusion. But all of our, normal, all of our regular pieces that are $5 are good well made well constructed they feel good they're lead free they're um what is it lead and nickel free so it won't turn your fingers won't turn green your finger your ears won't turn green you won't break out it's all good um and that's about it for tonight now as always i'll invite all you guys to look at paparazzi so you see the products if you have never touched a piece of paparazzi jewelry hit me up and we'll talk about that because you need to that was a customer way before i even thought about selling it i've convinced my friend to sell it even before i thought about selling it just because i recognized um the potential in it and they've actually done the work and got it all down like everything that goes into marketing and selling an item paparazzi has it all down to a science so when we sell paparazzi 
I don't have to sell paparazzi. I show it to you. You like it, you buy it. That's how it works. Um, I'm not a salesperson. I'm a beauty expert. I'm a hairstylist, a makeup artist. Um, I'm not a salesperson. But it's easy. It's like, I'm going to say easy. It's easy to give you the misconception that it's not work. Anything that you do is going to be work. But because the product sells itself, you don't have to be a salesperson. Um, so anybody on my friends list, most people um, I've hit up anyway. The people that I know for a fact could sell this stuff, like, I'm not even saying in your sleep, but like everything that you do. Like if you work in a salon, if you work in a salon and you're on my friends list, hit me up. If I haven't hit you up, hit me up. <laughs> Because you need to be on my team. Easy. Plain and simple. You put it up. Extra income. Plain and simple. Inbox me. Um, and we'll talk about it. Join my VIP group. Like my page. Bling Ambition Jewels on Facebook. I'm on Instagram as well. Bling Ambition Jewels on Instagram. You can follow me. Like my page. And you can see all my new stuff first. Um, I get We drop new pieces every single day. Every single day, Paparazzi has new jewelry pieces. Um, I'm going to say I probably get new pieces in three times a week. So, you don't have to worry about not being able to sell Paparazzi because you won't have repeat customers. We have items. The items that I showed you, a lot of them are no longer available outside of what consultants have in their inventory. So it's not like we're just selling the same pieces and your customers are going to be buying the same thing over and over again. It's not how it works. Um, it's different. It's fun. I've got six kids in my house. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, my fun is with my kids. I don't have the girlfriend out, go to the club fun too much no more. But in this business, because we're all, you know, constantly shopping and laughing and talking and it's like a sisterhood. So you'll find fun in paparazzi. So if you're looking for fun and extra money, hit me up. And that's about it. So I'm going to go back through here. I've got my numbers all paper clips of the items so I won't get lost. I won't be hitting nobody up asking, them, well, what did it look like? I've got it together. All right. I will talk to you guys later. See you next live.